Hey, you guys. This is lovely waters. How you guys doing? <laughs> Got you, did <laughs> Well, I'm back again. It seems like I'm back sooner than you guys probably expected. But nevertheless, I'm back. Uh, the Lord gave me a word, and I did want to share that. And uh, I feel like now is as good, good of a time as any. I wanted to uh, start, like I always do, with the word of prayer. I always believe in going before, before the throne of grace, before we begin our short talk. So come and go with me. I invite you to go with me before the throne of grace and let us bow at his feet and let us just lavish him with, with all kinds of worship and praises. Father, we bless you and we honor you, oh God. We worship you with all of our hearts, oh God. Lord, we bless you for who you are, oh God. Not today for what you do, but for who you are. Oh God, we lift up, Lord, our voices, our hearts, Lord God, with, with worship. And Lord, we want to praise you, oh God, because you are worthy of our, Lord, our praise, oh God, today. Oh, Father, we thank you for, Lord God, an opportunity uh, to come on this channel today, Father. We thank you for your word that you've given to us already in advance. We thank you, Lord Jesus, praise God, for such a time as this. We ask you to bless everyone that, Lord, tunes in, everyone that steps, you know, into the room with us. Lord, we thank you for everyone, Lord God, that has taken a notion to stop and hear, Lord, what your spirit has to say to them. Lord, we bless you and we praise you. We're looking for great things, Father. We come in expectation and we know, oh God, that nobody can bless us like you can. So Father, today, we thank you once again, and we thank you again, and again, and again, and again. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, I just came, uh, praise God, to share a word with you guys. I came to give you guys, praise God, good news today. I came to let you guys know, as I always do, you know, it's just really um, a real I have an unction, uh, and I feel like I have a call to remind people about God's love. I feel that I have been given a, a mission to remind people, praise God, that God is a God of love, praise God, and that he shows us his love every day, praise God. And you know, um, I was watching a uh, a show last night and there was a family that were in peril and they were really going through some things and and uh they came to a point in their evening where death was at the door and they didn't know what the outcome would be but because of God's goodness and God's grace praise God God brought them through it and he blessed them and he preserved them and he praise God protected them. And the next morning, uh, the little boy came to his uncle and he said, cause his uncle was staring at, at the sun, at the sun. And he said, uncle, what, what's, why are you looking like that? And he began to slowly respond. And he said, I'm just realizing that I'm alive and that I got to see, I got an opportunity to see today. Praise God. And I think that that's something that we all need to do. Praise God. When we wake up each morning, not in a superficial uh, form of just um, repetition, but in, in a heartfelt way, we need to begin to take time out to just look around and realize that, hey, I'm, I'm alive today. I have life today. God gave me, saw fit. He gave me grace enough to have life again today. Praise God. And so I just wanted to um, 
uh, share that with you because it really touched me. It was really a blessing. And But I want to move right on and I want to go into the word that God gave me to share today. And the word that I wanted to share today is entitled, You Can Make It. I want to encourage somebody today and I want to say it again. You can make it. You can. Regardless of all of the odds that you face, regardless of all of the uh, contrary situations uh, that fill your life, regardless of how difficult times may be, no matter how overwhelmed that you may feel, no matter how many uh, negative visions that fill your head, no matter how much heaviness that is upon your heart, no matter how dark things may be, no matter how discouraged you may find yourself, no matter how hurt that you may have, um, ha how much hurt that you have uh, uh, endured, no matter how brokenhearted, praise God, and no matter how you feel uh, that you're alone and that nobody cares and nobody loves you, and that uh, you, it doesn't matter to anyone that you even live. I came to tell you that you can. You can make it, praise God. If you will surrender your heart, your way, your life, your future, your destiny, if you will surrender them to Jesus, praise God. He wanted me to come. He sent me special to tell you that you can make it. You can. And if God say you can, you can. And you know that song that says, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Nobody can say no. They may say it with words, but that doesn't mean that their word is right. Praise God. We know that God is a righteous God. Praise God. So God said, here you go, lovely, and you tell them that they can make it. Praise God. That they can, that I said, okay, let me get this right. Because, hey, I'm not trying to take God's glory, okay? I don't, uh, uh that's not what God said. No man should take his, try to take his glory. So I want to give God all of his glory. And he said, lovely, you go and tell them that I said they can make it. And that's whoever that found my channel today, whoever you are, it, that's, that is for you, praise God, that you can make it. And here's the scripture that he gave me. God gave me a word, to, a scripture today coming from Isaiah 41 and verse 10. He said, fear not. For I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10. So God is encouraging us to not be downtrodden. He don't want us to be in a place of uh, where we give up. He is telling some, some people today that you can make it in spite of what it is, no matter how discouraged you are, no matter who has hurt you, no matter who uh, that you have lost, no matter, praise God, um, how the picture may look, no matter how you feel in your body, praise God, no matter uh, uh, who's turned their back on you and walked away and didn't even look back, no matter how people talk about you, no matter how people talk to you, no matter how people treat you, no matter what people think about you, praise God. He told me to tell you, you can make it. You can make it, brother. You can make it, my sweet sister, in Jesus' name. 
So I came to let you guys know that the scripture, the word of God is right. And the word of God is true. And you know, I thought about um, also, and which I've thought many times about what God said in his word. Whosoever. That's not no one in particular. That means who God has no respect of persons. Whosoever that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise God. So just I, I was sharing with someone the other day, and I've shared with this, uh, shared this many times, even using the children of Israel as an example. Whenever they called upon God, he always showed up. Praise. I just praise his name. Pray he will surely, surely show up. Amen. Even when they had been disobedient, even when they had uh, 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 turned away and turned their backs on God, even when they seemed as if they were all alone and all the, the other, the other uh, tribes had, uh, uh, from other parts of the land would come and try to defeat them and they were outnumbered and they were overpowered, praise God, God always heard their cry. And the, tr the truth is still, the truth is the truth. God said, I'm God and I change not. God's word is true today. Because the scripture tells us in James, praise God, that every good gift comes down from the father of lights, wherein there's no shadow of turning. So God don't change. The same God back then, same God right now. So I want to so I want to lift up somebody's head today by the power of the Holy Spirit because I don't have the ability to do that in and of myself but I know God does and he knows that he does he just said lovely you just go and tell him what I said praise God somebody is going to be helped somebody is going to be encouraged somebody is going to be lifted there will be a lifting in Jesus' name. So I just want you guys to remember that you can make it, regardless of how you see your own self. Sometimes we can't make it because we don't believe in ourselves. But you know, that's okay too. The first thing, sometimes we get ourselves mixed up with God. And we got to remember that we have to seek Him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these other things will be added. So we need to put him first. And then if we believe in him, then God will fix it in such a way that he will allow us to begin to believe in ourselves as well. So you guys be encouraged. And I want you all to know that God loves you. And you know, sometimes, you know, when I'm a little low, I don't even remember that song. It's a song that goes, Jesus loves me. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself like David did. Sometimes you have to go somewhere up to yourself and you have to remember all the things that God has done in the past and begin to encourage yourself that Jesus does love me. I can't say that this one loves me or that one loves me, but one thing for sure, Jesus loves me. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, remember uh, the uh, scripture that I left today is coming from Isaiah 41 verse 10. And I want you guys to uh, hold your head up, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Who is the king of glory? Hallelujah. And the king of glory will come in. But who is this king of glory? The Lord God, strong and mighty. May God bless you guys today. And you guys be encouraged, 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 encouraged. More and more. 
Praise God. Because God is a God of increase. And God told me, praise God, that he has blessed us with all things that pertain to life and godliness. So be encouraged. I know you guys hear me say that all the time. I'm an encourager. So, you know, that's the word I use all the time. So, nevertheless, be blessed in Jesus' name. And I also will end like I always end with what I always do is, oh, I've started a new thing by saying like and subscribe. And uh, sometimes I'm going to be giving you guys what I call a practical tip. Take out time for yourself. Go walking and just alone. Spend some alone time. Praise God. And just spend more time with the Lord. Some private time some special time to where you can just talk to him. And don't do too much talking. Try to listen and see what he has to say. Because sometimes we talk a little too much and we can't hear what he's saying. So I just want you guys to truly remember that's a practical tip. Try to, uh, this week, try to spend more time, or this weekend, should I say, try to spend a little bit more time with the Lord. Sometimes you have to break away. But I just wanted you guys to know that uh, uh, God gave me a word today and I wanted to bring it to you. All right, that's it for me today. You guys have a lovely day in Jesus' name. See you later.